the overall aim of our research is to understand the, the mechanisms underlying the strong association between, on one hand, obesity on, and, on the other hand, uh, type 2 diabetes. So we would like to know what goes wrong in, in obesity in certain individuals. Uh, in other words, why can't adipose tissue expand and handle the lipids? Why do lipids flow, overflow and cause dysfunction in, in other tissues, leading to insulin resistance and insulin secretion defects? And we would also like to develop and are trying to develop dietary concepts that can prevent um, the development of type 2 diabetes. And uh, not only that, but also understand, the, again, the mechanisms where, whereby these different concepts work. We are not trying to work out a, a pill containing a certain little compound. We're really trying to work with diets, I mean, or, or at least uh, yeah, different foods. So let's say we take a berry, for instance, and, and try to understand how it can prevent the development of type 2 diabetes. And of course, the mechanisms are going to be very complex, both at the level of the food. As such, there will be many different substances in that food, and there will probably be many different mechanisms. I mean, the, the complexity uh, is, is, is very large uh, in, in, in this particular area. So that's one challenge. And, and another challenge that I think we're always uh, looking at is, of course, to define where, where in this very large area am I best to make my contribution, to try to value my own competence in, in such a large area and, and work in, in the most relevant area. What I immediately come to think about is, is something that is a bit way back in, in time. But that was uh, actually when I was a PhD student. I cloned a gene for the first time, so I, you know, I figured out the, the sequence of a gene and, and thus also the sequence of that corresponding protein for an enzyme that uh, I have worked a lot with throughout my career and still work with. Uh, and, and that's an enzyme which is a, a key enzyme in, in the breakdown of fat in adipose tissue. So that is probably, I mean, the, the, the most easily defined breakthrough where, where I can really say I cloned that gene and, and the corresponding protein. So we are working right now with uh, vitamin D, how vi vitamin D is handled in uh, adipose tissue, and we're also trying to understand uh, or delineate the metabolic consequences of vitamin D insufficiency, which appears to be quite common globally, and not least in, in, in this part of the world. And uh, we hope that within half a year or a year, we will have the, the first results of this that will then be a, a kind of give us some hints on where we should focus our attention in, in the future. Well, I really hope that I can make a, an, a, a contribution that I can really point at and, or f to make a better life for diabetics. And I, I hope that that's the same goal as, as everyone else has, uh, although we sometimes tend to forget. But I, I think that's really something that I would be proud of if I, I can go back when I retire and say, I, I did this, and that really changed the life for, I mean, maybe not all diabetics, but certain types of diabetes or, or, or certain aspects of it. Uh, and I also hope that I have been a good mentor so that when, when I look back and maybe retire that uh, I have contributed to building up a new group. So, I mean, I'm, I'm in the process now of having younger people budding off, off from my research group. So I hope that I, I can manage to do that process in, in a good way so that the, there will be yeah, new groups building up around me and uh, eventually be um, uh, completely autonomous. I have always, uh, since I can remember, been extremely interested in research. It's something I started very, very early. So I think that in, in itself is the driving force that I really, really like science and I like to do research. Uh, and I think what has been added to that lately, which has really reinforced my driving force, is that I also have two children with diabetes, so I think that that has really, really strengthened my motivation to, uh, to uh, carry out diabetes research and, and try to figure out something that would help them and as well as all other diabetics.